we didn't start well and look uh, to be honest it was hard playing St Kilda two weeks in a row mm. uh, in the grand final there was a cup and then in round one uh, they certainly beat us fairly easy in that game and we sustained injuries and uh, I think in the Carlton game we never had one play with more than 100 games of experience which is just unheard of in these these days but we with that uh, fact no 100 game players we still should have performed better than we did Johnson to Camparelli. For Blues, for Blues fans, it's delightful regardless. Camparelli. <laughs> Is someone going to put a body on Campo? No. So he goes for home. And great goal! Exclamation point. His third. Capping a wonderful afternoon for the home team. Yeah, after that round two loss against Carlton, the media reaction was hysterical, to say the least, I'd reckon. There was a lot of people had just written you and the club off virtually after two games. Well, it was a pretty disappointing performance. Mm. We, we were capable of playing much better than that. Um, we were, you know, just let Carlton do whatever they wanted to do, and uh, we just performed poorly. So I can understand that there was a lot of anger out there amongst the Geelong faithful, but uh, I think um, in saying that, uh, you know, by the end of the year, we... We rectified a bit of that. Uh, Bomber, was it hard to keep the playing group positive? Yeah, it was hard because uh, everyone was so much against the media, but you know, the media anger and uh, the Geelong anger uh, was enormous. It was just a very trying time. And you talk about uh, five years being coach and ever losing confidence, that was probably the lowest point I've been. So you started to question your ability? Even. Oh, not my ability. I I'm always uh, believe that you're going to be a good coach, yeah. but uh, just the results. Uh, that was a poor result. Round three, Sydney at the SCG. I think you led the Swan.